Hello everyone, welcome back on Clufo.com. I'm your science teacher Bibi Fatima here. Today I'm going to tell you about very interesting and also a very important topic that is friction. So what is friction? First of all we have to understand that friction is one of the type of contact force. Yes. When the two objects or two things are in contact, then they create a different kinds of force in that friction is one of the force. So it's very clear that unless and until the two things are in contact, there will be that no friction force can be created. So what is frictional force? Frictional force is a force that opposes the movement of an object. Yes. Now, what is the meaning that it opposes the movement of object? How it opposes? The movement. For this you can take a very common example, a ball rolling on a plane surface and it stops after going certain distance. So what makes it to stop its movement? It is a force of friction. And do you know there are few things that affects the force of friction that is nature of surface and at the other hand the weight of the object that is in contact to the surface. Now, if we talk about nature of surface, how nature of surface affects the friction? Imagine if the surface is plain, then the force of friction is less. And if the surface is rough, then force of friction is high. So for this, you can take an example. We cannot walk comfortably on a plain and very smooth surface because of less friction. But on a normal platform, we can walk easily because the force of friction is high. And to the other side, if we talk about the weight of uh, object, how much it is contact to the surface. In this case, if the object, the weight of the object is more than 100% the force of friction is more. And if we wanted to reduce the force of friction, then we have to reduce weight. So more weight, more friction and less weight, less friction. And do you know friends, there are two types of friction. One is statistic friction and another one is kinetic friction. Now, what is this statistic friction? For an example, there is a box and you're trying to move the box, but it's not moving. It means that the force applied by an orb person, it is balanced by the force of statistic friction. So anything we are moving and it is not moving with our force, it means the force of statistic for friction has been created in that place and at the other side if we talk about a kinetic friction kinetic friction is nothing but when two objects rub against each other or uh, move one on the other that is nothing but a kinetic friction and here again this kinetic friction is divided into two groups one is called rolling friction and another one is called sliding friction what is rolling friction when the objects move or roll on the surface, we call them as rolling friction. And what is sliding friction? When two solid objects move on each other or one over the other, if you see the movement, we can call them as sliding force. And for the uh, rolling force, we can use the example of movement of a wheel of your bicycle or car. And for the uh, sliding, you can take what we are writing, what we are walking, all this is a kind of sliding friction. And apart from even like see, without friction, we cannot leave. Friction has to be there. But along with this importance of friction, there are also some disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages of friction? First of all, friction produces heat that we can easily observe by rubbing our hands. And not only this, friction produce noise in machineries. Friction lose the energy and due to this friction, the branches of the trees, when they rub against each other due to the friction, a deadly fire may take place. And if the friction is more, then it cause wear and tear of the substance. So this is all about friction. I hope you have understood the concept of friction. I'll see you in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.